Hey, Dr. Christensen here with you. So, is your thyroid gland still working? Hello, is anybody home? <laughs> you know, has it shut down? Is it functional? Is it making half of what you need? Or a quarter? Or 90%? Is it right on the edge? Wouldn't you love to know? <laughs> People talk a lot about wishing to not need thyroid treatment. And this is the goal. The goal is to have your thyroid work as much as it can and to have you feel your very best. You know, I would argue, don't even be satisfied with feeling how you did before this came on. Only be satisfied when you're at your, your peak, best state of health. And I made a calculator for you to help you answer this question. It's going to give you an answer in two ways. There will be a percent number and then also some micrograms. So what these mean, the percent is just how much percent of what your gland is making, what, how much there is compared to how much there should be. So if your gland was perfectly functional, making exactly what your body needed, your answer would be 100%. If your gland was doing nothing whatsoever, your answer would be zero. There'd be like no thyroid hormone present at all. And then I also give micrograms. So let's just say that your gland would make, um, I'm gonna make this up, 90 micrograms of T4 and 10 micrograms of T3. Well, if your gland was working at half capacity, your answer would be 45 micrograms of T4 and five micrograms of T3, about what would come out of it. So how cool is that? You can plug some simple numbers in and know all this stuff right away. And the awesome part is you could track this over time and see how it's changing. You know, if your goal is to get your thyroid to be stronger and work better, how do you know if you're getting there or not? Well, this is how you can find out and you can see step by step. So I'd like to know your weight. I'd like to hear all the thyroid medicines you're on and the amounts of them. Your gender is important. And if you're a woman, pregnancy status, contraceptives, hormone replacement, menopausal status, those things all matter. If you're a guy, we're simpler. And even if a guy were on hormone replacement for testosterone, it wouldn't change it all that much. But women have a lot of hormonal differences that can affect their thyroid metabolism. So let's talk about what these answers mean. Now, if your answer is zero, if your thyroid is making zero percent, well, that's zero. So in those cases, you can still feel your best and you should hold out for nothing less than that. But please know that your gland will probably not take over. That would be more unusual. So this could be thyroid surgery. It's been removed partially or completely. There's also a variation of Hashimoto's called atrophic, which is rather common. That's where the gland shrinks up and goes away. Now we can also see this any percent in between. If you're somewhere around 50%, your gland is making about half of what your body's needs are. If you're at 75%, it's about three quarters. And if you're at 80-90%, you might really question if you need to be on thyroid medication at all. If your scores are such to where they're healthy, or if your scores are saying you've got more than you need, that last step, your body could probably do just fine in closing that gap. So let's talk through about how could you raise your percent, some easy ideas for that. You know, one of the simplest ones is join us for the Metabolism Reset Diet Challenge. We've had so many people that their thyroid scores move a lot. And I've seen two categories of people. Some are not on treatment, but they're told they need treatment. And one gal just wrote in from the UK, her TSH scores were above five, and her doctor was saying, you need to be on treatment, you've got some symptoms, you've got problems here. And she said, give me a few months. So a month in, she only did this for one month. I mean, I'm sorry, a month after she did the retest. So she did it and tested immediately at the end of it. Her TSH was down to two. And it takes about three months for the TSH to level out. So it hadn't leveled out just yet. So she moved a lot. We've also seen many people to where they're on thyroid medicine and maybe their TSH is normal or on the high side. But after the reset, they're way below range. They're getting way too much and it's the same medicine. That means their thyroid stepped up and kicked in and is now functioning much better. So you gotta check your scores afterward and that's an easy way to improve your own output. Some other general ideas, get enough selenium. You know, the daily reset pack is a targeted multivitamin made for those that have thyroid disease, the right types and amounts of selenium and also the right minerals to balance with it. And then avoid iodine. So that's the pitfall about most multis. They've got a lot of iodine in them, and so many other pills do. Avoid iodine in all of your pills. Look, look at all your labels. Take no pills that contain iodine in them. And avoid sea vegetables as one simple food category. So those two steps can go a long ways. Those on thyroid treatment, 
you want to really optimize your TSH. There's another calculator I made you can check out called what are your best thyroid levels? And that can help you know where your TSH should be. The closer you are to your optimum TSH, the more likely your gland will start to work better. You know, if you just drop thyroid medicine that may be helpful for you, your gland will have to work a lot harder. And if your TSH goes high, that intense signal on your gland may overwhelm it. So just forcing it to work harder doesn't make it stronger. It's a matter of getting it to where it is still working. You're not taking over for it completely, but it's not overworking. There's a balancing act. It's just like exercise. You've got to train, but you don't want to strain, you know? So same idea here. Last thought is thyro balance. This is one of our supplements, which is a specific nigella extract. And really cool stuff. They've had double blind, placebo controlled human studies showing that the right versions of this extract can help reverse the inflammation and the underactivity from thyroid disease. And it's pretty cool stuff. It's a, it's a black cumin seed extract. It's been used forever as a food in the Middle East, and it's ridiculously safe. There's no drawbacks to it. But some people who are close, this can help them take those next few steps. So please enjoy the calculator. You can know exactly what your thyroid is doing right now, and you can see how your efforts to help it work better are paying off. Dr. C here with you. Take great care. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.